Right? We ought, the Bible says that we ought to be thankful. Because I tell you, we have, we have a lot of ups and downs. And uh, a lot of trials and everything. But still, there's good things in life. I believe church, being, now the Bible says, uh, being a Christian, I believe God, uh, He uh, shields us with favor. Yes. Now that doesn't mean we're not going to have trials. Right. Doesn't mean Man. that everything is going to happen our way. No. Thank God God is with us. Amen. But you know what, church? I believe there's two roads. Yeah. I believe there's a, a narrow way that we got to walk. Yeah. Because the Bible tells us we got to walk the narrow way. That, because that's the good way. Yeah. But there's a broad way that everybody is going to tra- uh, see my even a lot of churches they want to travel the broad way. Yeah. But thank God we still got a few that wants to stay on that narrow path Amen. because they know where it leads. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. And uh, just because things have happened, now it, it would be nice for me if I'd been born rich. Wouldn't it be nice if you'd been born rich, have a silver spoon in yeah. it? No, I don't think God God had had when we're born. <laughs> God has a purpose and plan for everybody. Amen. So you just be happy the way that you are. Amen. If you got a roof over your head, food on the table, clues show the shoes on your feet, yeah. clothes on your back, everything, if your bills are paid or whatever, you are to be happy. Amen. Amen. Because see, the Bible said he would meet our needs. Yeah. Glory to God. And, but uh, sometimes God shows us in the scripture, passage of scripture here, not everybody's going to be blessed. Because, see, church, sometimes our blessing is not here, but it's over there. Hallelujah. That's, a, that's all it counts. Amen. Praise God. So we look in the Bible tonight it's in St. Luke chapter 16, verse 19. He said, There was a certain rich man. Now, this was, this, this was a, a, a throw that. A, a, a hammer in the spokes of the Jews, especially the Pharisees and the scribes. Because, see, they were God's chosen people. Yeah. And they were supposed to get all the blessings and everything. They were supposed to be rich. And just because they were the children of God, had a covenant, circumcised because of Abraham, they thought that they were the child of God and everything was all right. Amen. But church, let me tell you, they, they started disobeying God, rejecting God, and Jesus gave them this, amen, to give them an understanding. Just because you're Abraham's seed, it doesn't mean, amen, that you're going to go to heaven. Because this rich man wasn't, no doubt, a Jew. Amen. But the Bible said there was a rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fair sumptuously every day. That sounds like a lot of Christian people today. They got to believe on that. Amen. You name it, you claim it, you know. It don't happen that way. But the Bible says this is what it says. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at the, his gate full of sores and desired to be fed but the crumb which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores and it came to pass the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And that means he was taken to paradise. So that let me know, church, just because you're not rich, you may be poor as a pauper and everything else, it doesn't mean, amen, that you're not going to go to hell. Or what a, what a, a, a thing that a rich man died, the Bible says he ended up in hell. Both of them was Jews, but one was a believer and the other was an unbeliever, amen. amen. We've got to believe it. We, to that, we, we're, we're Jews by circumstances of the heart, amen, and we're on our way to heaven. Amen. But the Bible says here, and, and, and in hell he lifted it, the, the poor man died and lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried. Now, church, let me tell you something. I believe with all my heart, God, Jesus showed this to the same fact, the Pharisees and the scribes, which were the Jews, which were Bible scholars, and let them know I mean, just what hell was all about and what, what religious was all about. And truth be told you, I believe when we die, and we're going to die, everyone in this building is going to die unless Jesus comes back. Are yeah. oh, you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, See, God gave every one of us a choice, like I preached the other night. 
Amen. God, when we die, our spirit will go back to God. Amen. Our soul will either go to heaven or hell because that's something that God gives us a free will that we can make up our mind and either go to heaven or go to hell. But this old body is going to turn back to dust. Can I hear that? Amen. What are you Amen. trying to say, Brother Michael? He looked at them. The hell is real. Amen. And truth, I want you to know something. We, we, not, we don't preach it enough. When I was a young Christian, uh, these preachers and pastors, they preach hell so hard yeah, that you yeah. can feel it, church. Yeah. It's time that we get the people, amen, over the flames of fire, yeah. over the flames of hell, amen, and let them see there's a soul, and that soul is the real you. It's either going to go to hell or it's going to go to heaven, one or the other. But Jesus said here, the rich man died and the poor man died, but the Bible said because of the, the poor man put his trust in God and held on to God when he died. The Bible said the angels carried him yeah. into Abraham's yeah. bosom. Yeah. And the Bible said the rich man looked up and he saw hell. But church, that wasn't the only thing that he saw. I'm here to tell you, church, a lot of people that he, under my voice tonight, and those that on the voice of Facebook and everywhere else to be able to hear this to see it. And that their soul is going to be, amen, seated into heaven or hell. In other words, church, God has given them the warning like he's given us the warning that there is a hell to shut and a heaven to go to. Amen. And he looked up and he saw where he was at. Amen. Church, we take, we need to look at ourselves amen. and recognize where we are going because we're going one place or another. And the only thing that's going to save us is Jesus Christ. Amen. He said he saved us from the wrath to come and Jesus he gave us Jesus, amen, that we would not put into wrath, but amen, go to heaven. Church, I want everybody to go. Oh, yeah, we'll go to heaven. I want everybody to go to heaven, church. Oh, glory to God. But the Bible says he looked over and go. The rich man looked up and saw that he was in hell. Yeah. Prayer doesn't do any good there, church. Yeah. This is what it says then. And verse 24 says, And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me, saying, Lazarus, the very one that he shot off, the very one that didn't give him a, a, a crumb, a piece of bread or anything, but now he wanted Lazarus to come and dip his finger in water and dip his, his tongue into it. But church, let me tell you, it's too late, amen, amen. to pray. Church, we want to pray, we need to pray to now. And church, if we got loved ones, we need to lay them upon the altar and give them to God and say, God, whatever takes, I want you to save them because I'd rather them that they're going to heaven and be saved is to stay here and be lost. Amen. 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 What a waste for the Sadducees and the scribes and the Jews. Amen. Two Jews. One was going to heaven and one was going to hell. One was just religion and the other had faith. Glory yeah. to God. Right. That's what the Bible says now. And it says, Have mercy upon me, said Lazarus, that they may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. It's real, church. I've heard people blaspheme and talk about it. I tell you, I'm going to die. And I'm going to go down. And I'm going to dance right in the fire. I'm going to have me a good time. And I'm going to smoke my dope. And if they, they're not going to be no dope smoking down there. I right. tell you, church, if people want dope and alcohol right. and everything else, you better enjoy here because that's the only heaven you're going to have. Because you get down there, there won't be no dope. There won't be no alcohol. There won't be no sex. There won't be nothing down there but pure Torment. That's right, brother. Can I hear an amen? Amen. I wonder if God gave us a good, a good time tonight. Amen. Praise God because church, He wants to let us know that He loves us. Right. He wants to bless us. Hallelujah. But church, let me tell you something. I think God wants us to preach sometimes and let the congregation and even let the Christian know, amen, because sometimes we get so on easy street and sometimes church, we kind of slack back off and we come to lay out of church, lazy and everything else. But church, I'm here to tell you, we need to keep on the firing line and we need to run the race. My Paul said, I'll run this race, race with patience. And church, I tell you, it's no time to stop now. We need to keep on running and keep on running and stay on the narrow way. Can I hear an amen? Amen, oh, I'm here to tell you, church. But see, the beggar, yeah, I'm going to talk about the beggar a little bit. See, he didn't have the good things. Sometimes we don't have good things, Jay. Right. Have you ever known sometimes when you get saved? 
Amen. It seems like it just gets worse. Amen. It will be worse for a little while, probably do what? If we'll just hang on to Jesus. Yeah, I mean, the old devil comes, he tries to throw all them things up for you. Man, all the things that you used to hang on to, amen, the devil don't stop there. He brings it back to you. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? He tries everything to get you back. Amen. Amen. But church, let me tell you something. If you got something down in your heart, and church, he said, I'll give you a new spirit, and I'll give you a new heart, that you'll be able to walk in my statues, walk in my way, yeah. and church, it's, it's not worth going to hell for. Amen. This whole world is not worth going to hell for. Amen. And we never know. John is merciful. I said, God is merciful. But church, his grace runs out. See, the devil come to tell you, like he told me and he told you, you've got plenty of time. Don't listen to that preacher. I'm going to tell you, church, you better listen to that preacher because if you're going to God and God gives you the message and lets you know where you're going, you better pay attention to it because this may be the, this may be the last sermon and the last blessing you ever have because you end up in hell and it's going to be forever and forever. But see, the Bible says, that's what I like. He said, Abraham, send him down. You know what? See, there's a door. See, hell. See, it wouldn't be heaven if we could look down and see our mom. That's right. That's or right. dad. That's right, brother. Or children. We'll never see them. Amen. Amen. We, we could see them in flames. Yeah, but there's a wall there. Yeah, great. There's, there's, you'll never see the, the Lazarus would never see. Amen. Who this man was. We'll never see our loved one, amen, church, if they, if they don't miss heaven. Because, church, it wouldn't be heaven if we knew our loved one was down there. He'll take and raise everything out. That's why it's heaven. Because, church, let me tell you something. I, I don't want to look down and see my mom or dad or my sister or my son and be the cause of it. This rich man was the cause of his brothers coming on the way. You're a cause. If you're not going to serve your you're a cause for your loved ones or somebody else that is looking up to you and you're sending them right to hell with you. And church, I don't want to live like that. That was one of the torment. And he was tormented because he said, I've got five brothers and they're on their way here. Uh, but see, you know what he said? He said, now, he said, now, he told the rich man, he said, now, you enjoy these things. Go right ahead and enjoy your good things. Amen. But see, the Bible says, if you gain the whole world, lose your soul. What have you gained? Yeah, yeah. There are people who give their souls for, for these things upon the earth. Yeah. Can I, can, I mean, the, the, what the, the devil knows how to bless you. Yeah. Oh, I am so blessed. God, no, God don't bless you. Amen. If he, if, you, if, he, if he gives you a blessing and he calls you to this church, he don't give you a $30,000, $350,000 home that you can't hardly pay for, have to work seven days a week, and you say, God has blessed me, and you don't set foot in church or give God the, 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 the love offering and worship, amen, that he deserves. God did not give it to you. And the devil gave it to you. He not going to give you nothing. That will cause you to lose out. Amen. Right, Amen. 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 I'm going to talk about the good things. Oh, glory to God. There's good things up in heaven. Amen. Whoa, glory to God. This is what he says. Now, church, God's changed this message because I already have my message. But this is what he says. And the Bible says in verse 25, But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth the good things. See, he received the good things. Yeah. But he never looked up to where, where his acre was cut right. falling. Never, never he never did. looked up to see God was the one that gave it to him. See, God gives us everything. Amen. In a roundabout way that will, that will meet our needs. But church, we get we get to a place that we covet and, and we forget God. The children of Israel was the same way. God said, I'm going to lead you to the land of milk and honey. I'm going to give you everything that you need there. But he said, don't you forget me when I bless you. And church, that's what happened to him. God gave him all these things, and he turned his back and stirred his nose up to God. Now he looked up in hell, and he see where he was at. Yes, amen. Don't you Why is What is causing you not to, say, to get saved? What is causing you not to live for God? 
When the devil tells you you got plenty of time, yeah. that, that means you don't have no time because he's a liar. Amen. Oh, glory to God. But the Bible says in verse 25 of Abraham, it says, Son, remember that in thy lifetime thou receivest the good things, and likewise Lazarus, evil things. Yeah. In other words, he didn't enjoy his life. Just because we don't really enjoy life, like I mean, you see these people driving these big, uh, uh, big Rolls Royces, and and, not, and, and and even the preachers, the pastors, they got to have a Rolls Royce and, and a, a big, big, big and everything. Have four or five of them, have cats to fly all the place, and they're, they're, mis, they're, they're misleading the people because they say if God blesses him, they can bless me, and they go around teach and preach. You don't have faith because you don't have what I got. They don't realize maybe they think that you got God and they have the devil. And they may end up in hell, and you may end up in heaven. Amen. But it's what he says. <laughs> Verse 26 says, and he said, Besides all this, between us and you now is a great gulf fixed. In other words, there was a great separation. Yes, amen. Now, let's be no church. That the, the, the Lazarus didn't know what was going on. Because, see, God wasn't going to let Lazarus know all this. It wouldn't be heaven. See, you, the, your loved ones that's lost. And so, you know, if, and have we looked around, maybe it's my fault. When we're not committed, and when we're not dedicated, and when we're not sanctified, and when we're not faithful, church, let me tell you something. You may regret that one day. Because you got people looking at you. Amen. 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 Lord, I'm about to shout it. Bless I, Lord. I tell you, church, hell is real. Yeah. We need to preach Thank it sometimes. I, I try to preach it every once in a while because, you know, uh, it wakes people up. Yeah. It reminds us, church, see, out of sight. That I know the devil's mad, but I'm glad. Amen. I said, I know the devil's mad, but I'm glad. Glory Amen. to God, because you know why? I'm serving the people up. Glory Amen. to God. I'm letting them know, praise God, yeah. that they're either going to go to heaven or hell. And if they're not living by them, they don't have Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. They're going to go to hell. And they can't buy their way in. They can't talk their way in. Amen. And, and nothing else. Because it takes faith by Jesus Christ, by his blood that was shed it, that we can receive glory Amen. and go to heaven glory Amen. to God. But he's mad. Don't you preach that. A lot of people say, no, I don't want to come to church and have them preach in hell because it's, it just disturbed my little, my little boy. They made him growing up on dope and alcohol and everything else on their way to the devil's hell and they were worried about, well, they were half nightmares. Maybe they, maybe they need some nightmares. Until they start preaching hell and everything when I was young, they give me some nightmares. They won't be that way. They say, hey, I don't want to go there. No. I don't want my loved ones to go there. Amen. I'm trying to hurry. Yeah. But that's what it says here. There was a gulf. It said, besides, it's a great gulf of fish. So that they which would pass here from here, you cannot. Neither can they pass to us that would come from this. I mean, there's a separation. Verse 27 said, Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. Verse 28 says, For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, that these may come unto this place of torment. He knew that he was a bad example. He knew that because he, you know, probably no doubt he was the oldest brother. I don't know. Everybody looks up and back then for the oldest brother. And he led them astray. We can't afford to leave our loved ones astray, church. Maybe God saved us some way or somehow. Amen. That we can lead our loved ones to heaven. Verse 20 says, And Abraham said unto thee, Abraham said unto, unto him, They have Moses and the prophets that they hear them. Yeah. And he said, Nay, Father, Abraham, but if, but if one went unto from the dead, they would repent. That was a lie. Because they, Jesus died and they still would repent. Yeah. But I want to go back to what you hear want to go. Verse, I think it's verse 25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou 
Lifetime receiveth the good things, and likewise lavish evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Yeah. First, I want you to know something. Old Lazarus, he enjoyed the, uh, the rich man enjoyed the good things on this side. Yes, uh, he did. Old Abraham, the, the, the Lazarus, they man enjoyed this other. Yeah. I mean, he was comforted on the other side. Yeah. Glory to God. I'll tell you, church, tonight, the Bible tells us in Revelation 21, praise God. See, there's coming a new heaven and, and a new earth. Yeah. And you know what? And he said, God said, I'll be your child, your God, and I'll be your father, and you'll be my child. But you know what he said? That because we're with God, he said, I'm going to take and dry your tears up. Yeah. I'm going to take the death away from you. And the yeah. Bible said there'll be no more die and no more cry. Praise God. Yeah. And first of all, there'll be no more tears and no more heartaches. There's going to be no sickness and there's not going to be no devil up there. Amen. Amen. <coughs> we're going to enjoy the good things, church. Amen. We may not enjoy everything down here. Like I said, you may not have a $350,000 home. You may not try the finest car. But you know what, church? If you're on your way to heaven, you've got everything. Amen. All Amen. I need is Jesus. Amen. I think there's a song about that. All I need is Jesus. Amen. I tell you, if you got Jesus, you got everything. Right. You may not have everything down here, but you got everything up there. That's right. Amen. Amen. All church, let me tell you something. He didn't work for all the riches in the world and lose your soul Amen. and go to the devil's hell. Right. Now the Bible says in Revelation 21 and 8, he said, but the unbelievable. See, people that don't receive Jesus, you are an unbeliever and you're a child of the devil. Yeah. And church, you, the person don't believe and accept Jesus, that they die that because they were they was fearful and they didn't believe. Can I hear an amen? amen. They're, going to, they're going to die with the rest of the ungodly. And then they're going to be thrown into to the lake of fire and be tormented forever and ever. Yes, we need to recognize this church yes. because hell is real. Yes, God is good. Yes. God is a loving God. Yes. God is a blessing God. God could have healed that Lazarus just like that. The church, he had a reason to, amen, sometimes we go through things and we don't understand it on this side, but on the next side we'll understand it. Yes. I said, well, next, uh, the next side will understand it. Amen. I don't understand why that God took my love with and everything. But on the other side, I will understand it. Amen. 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 How good God is to us. Yes. How loving God Amen. is to us. Give us opportunity, opportunity. Now, church, let me tell you my closing tonight. I can look back in my life. And I, before I got saved, and God just flashes a torch to me. And God saved me, I don't know how many times facing death. And I would have went out into eternity lost. But see, I, God had plans for me. Yeah. And, and you know what? If, if I rebelled against God and said, God, I don't want to have to do with anything, the next thing might happen. Even when I got saved, I could look back and see the times and things that God saved me and spared me and angels was there kept around me called me not to get killed because yeah. he knew I, he had plans for me right. Right. Amen. God's got good things for us yeah. God's got a make it for you yeah. God has a purpose and a plan for everybody yeah. and a place. would you stand tonight God, yeah.